क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑन क्लाइमेट फर्स्ट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप क्वेश्चन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्लेसेज रिसीव द हाइएस्ट रेनफॉल इन दर्ल्ड दिस चेरा पूंजी रिमेन द प्लेस ऑफ हाइएस्ट रेनफॉल इन दर्ल्ड फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम बट नाउ इट्स मॉस इन राम इट्स मॉस इन राम हेयर सो इट्स नियर टू चेरा पूंजी बट विल आंसर इट एज मॉस इन राम the wind blowing in the northern plains in summer is known as so what is the name of the wind flowing here and this is known as loo very dangerous which one of the following causes rainfall during winters in the northern or north no, north western part of india so this is the north this is the west this is east This is south. So we are talking about the rain in this region, and this is because of the western disturbances. Western disturbances, right? So answer will be B. Pashchimi Vikshob. Pashchimi Vikshob, and this is brought up, uh, brought by the jet stream from and jet stream. They bring the air from the mediterranean sea and this causes uh, the western disturbances and here we have the rainfall during winters monsoon arrives in india approximately so see this is was first june first june so we'll answer it as early june c which one of the following characterizes the cold weather season in india warm days and cold night b will be the answer answer the following questions briefly what are the controls affecting the climate of india so there are six six major controls of the climate of any place they are latitude that means uh, the lines the parallel lines altitude uh, see or lat latitude let me tell you that we are between 37 degree and 8 degree latitude altitude the pressure atmospheric pressure and the wind system the distance from the sea that is this area has continental continental climate because if you are here the the climate will be different but if you are here near sea the con the climate will be different there also the ocean currents see the water in the ocean they are always moving so they are ocean currents and the relief features that is if the relief is like this or relief is like this okay this relief that means the you can say the curvature or the steep steepness of a height second is why does india have a monsoon type climate the reason is or the answer is monsoon see if we have four different seasons and two of them is coming off and going off monsoon so all the things in india they mostly are affected or dependent on monsoon so monsoon winds they play a very vital and important role in the climate of india therefore it is called the monsoon type of climate india has monsoon type of climate ushna katibandhiya monsoon jalwayu which part of india does experience the highest diurnal range of temperature and why now diurnal means day and night so temperature at day temperature at night so we have a various places the northern western part of india like this northern west this part of india it experiences the di highest diurnal diurnal means day and night temperature difference range of temperature this is the thar desert area and in this area the temperature rises to 50 degree centigrade in the daytime sometimes and it drops to 15 degree same same night so you see the difference is around 35 degree so this is the diurnal temperature on the other hand if you talk about say if you are here say at kerala or andaman nicobar islands 
then there is hardly difference of the temperature. In the day, it may be 22 degree. In the evening, it may be 20 degree. So it's, you know, the difference is quite low. Diurnal difference. Which winds account for rainfall along the Malabar coast? So this is our Malabar coast. That is the Kerala region. The sea co coastal region of Kerala. So the southern or uh, southwest monsoon that means this monsoon, these winds are responsible for the rainfall along the Malabar coast. What are the jet stream and how do they affect the climate of India? This is the ground level and when we go up, the from 0 to around 14 kilometer, we have troposphere. All the temperature, all the seasonal activities or the air activity goes around here. Weather conditions are being decided here, from here to here. Not only on the ground level, but everywhere. So around 12, 12 kilometer, this and the uh, latitude, longitude of 27 degree to 30 degree, that is we lie in this region because we are, as I said, we are between 37 and 8. So this 27 and 30 is in between, in, is, is with us from here to here around. So these are the very, very highly or high speed, speed winds at this, at this height and at this latitude. These are jet streams. So jet streams are narrow belt of high altitude above, this is 12 kilometer, 12,000 meter. Westerly winds in the troposphere. So this is troposphere. This goes like this. In India, it goes like this and here. And these are not on the ground. They are 12 kilometers, around 12 kilometers above our head. So their speed varies from about 100 and kilo, 110 kilometer in summer to about 184 kilometer an hour in winter. There are number of jet stream being identified. The most constant are the mid-latitude and subtropical jet streams. The jet streams over the Indian Peninsula here during the summer affect the monsoon. The subtropical westerly jet stream blows south of the Himalayas, means this is Himalayas. So we are talking about this south of Himalayas, and they are responsible for the western cyclonic disturbances. That means Mediterranean Sea winds, I, we talked about. So this cyclonic disturbances experience in the north and northwest part of the country. The, Easter, the easterly jet, jet streams blow over this peninsula region. It affects the coastal region of the country, these regions, this and this region, and mostly this region, this region, and is responsible for the tropical cyclones here, cyclones during the monsoon, as well as during the October to November period. Define monsoons. What do you understand by break in monsoon. So monsoons are nothing but air changing their directions. So the monsoons are moisture laden winds means the winds carrying water in different form from the southwest that means from the southwest which bring heavy rainfall in the southern Asia in summer. Break. What is the break in the monsoon? The break in the monsoon that means that the monsoon has alternate wet and dry spell that means if you if you are being told that the air are coming the, the winds are coming with water you the a layman will understand okay it should it should drain all the rain until it is dry but it doesn't happen sometimes you get rain sometimes it won't so this means that the monsoon rains takes place for a few days at a time and these wet spells are interspersed with the dry spell related to the movement of the monsoon trough. That means if this is the monsoon trough, it reaches, it is sometime here, it is sometime here, so when it is here, it will uh, lead to the snowfall, sometimes here, sometimes here, like this. So it changes its position. Why is monsoon considered a unifying bond? So see, every one of us, every single being, whether we are normal human being on this Indian soil, or we are agriculturist or, or we are industrialist. Every one of us is just waiting for monsoon. So the seasonal alteration of the wind, wind systems and the associated weather conditions provide a rhythmic cycle of seasons. 
so monsoon rains are evenly distributed and typically uncertain you cannot predict it in advance so the indian landscape plant and animal life agriculture the people and their festivities all revolve around the monsoon so all the indian people they eagerly await the arrival of the monsoon it binds the whole country by providing water which sets all the agricultural activities in motion that is why the monsoon is considered as a unifying god why does rainfall decrease from the east to west in the northern india so if you see this is east and this is west so when you move from this direction to this direction actually moving from east to west why is the rainfall decreasing the basic reason is when you have these this monsoon coming from arabian side and a monsoon coming from the bay of bengal side so it enters like this when it enters it has a lot of water lot of uh, you can say adrata nami but by the time it reaches here it loses everything so rainfall decreases from east to west in the northern india because there is a decrease in the moisture of the winds moisture they are good here but as i as i as they reach here there is a decrement in the amount of moisture these winds are containing so as the moisture bearing winds of the bay of bengal branch when that means this branch of the southwest monsoon this is southwest monsoon it move further and further inland that is inside the indian uh, you can say this region the moisture gradually decreases as it should be and results in low rainfall moving westward so this area like gujarat and rajasthan in western india they get a very little rainfall less than 20 cm give reason as to why seasonal reversal of wind direction takes place over the indian subcontinent see during the winter there is a high pressure area on the north here see here of the himalayas so cold winds blow from this region to the low pressure area over the oceans to the south so in summer a low pressure area develops over interior asia as well as over northwestern india this causes a complete reversal of the direction of winds during the summer that is how the reversal of wind takes place the in summer now the uh, the bulk of rainfall in india is concentrated over few months so in summer if if we just talk about the previous question in summer a low pressure area develops over entire asia as well as over north western india we just saw this so this causes complete reversal of direction of wind during summer as we just saw so air moving from the high pressure over uh, area over the southern indian ocean across as the equator and turns right toward the low pressure area over the indian subcontinent so when it is quite heating here there is a low pressure area so what happens if this is the equator these are the trade winds and this is india so it when they reaches here they have to come here means this area the deccan plateau it you know not deccan plateau it's a tibetan plateau so it becomes very hot and because of the hotness it creates a low pressure area so these reaches here that is how we get the southwest monsoon so air moves from the high pressure area over the southern uh, indian ocean across the equator and turns right towards the low pressure areas over the indian subcontinent and these are known as southwest monsoon winds and these winds blow over warm oceans they are coming from warm, warm oceans these are all oceans gather moisture and bring widespread rainfall over the mainland of india the duration of a monsoon is between 100 and 120 days from starting of june to mid september so we can say the rainfall india is concentrated over a few months this is the answer of this part then we have uh, the tamil nadu coast receives uh, the winter rainfall rainfall why it is there so during the winter season the northwest trade winds prevail over the country so all this northwest see this is north and this is west so these trade winds they are prevailing over the country 
so they blow from where from the land to sea so they don't create anything here they don't create any rain so most of the part of the country is in a dry season but some part these these ray these uh, winds when they reach here they gather a lot of moisture so amount of rainfall occurs some amount of rainfall a good amount you can say on the tamil nadu coast from these winds as they blow from sea to land so here we have koromandal tat or koromandal region and it gets the in the winter they get rain because of this scenario the delta region of uh, eastern coast is frequently struck by cyclones so this is the delta region of eastern coast that is this region of godavari then krishna then kaveri so these are all the delta regions so the delta region of the eastern coast is frequently struck by a cyclone so cyclone are like this chakravat because the cyclone cyclonic depressions which originate over this andaman sea generally cross the eastern coast of india here here and here and causes heavy and widespread rain so these cyclones are quite destructive the thickly populated delta region these are a quite thickly populated area of godavari krishna and kaveri and they are frequently struck by cyclones which create great damage for life and property sometimes these cyclones arrive at the coast of odisha see you can see bhuvneshwar west bengal and bangladesh and same thing happens here the next question is parts of rajasthan gujarat and leeward side of the western ghat are drought prone see we are talking about this area so parts of rajasthan gujarat and leeward side of the western ghat they are drought prone because they receive scanty less rainfall even during the monsoon month the monsoon winds when rising over the western ghats western ghats they give they give rise they give rain to this area by the time they reach here they have less moisture left in these winds and so these areas are drought prone 